Hey guys, happy Monday. So you know what the biggest April Fool's joke was? My morning. The greatest thing about it was that today's April 2nd, so I wasn't even expecting it. But I guess the people who will find this funniest are the teachers who are going to have to read those uh, tests that I took and the paper that I wrote um, without ever reading it through. So, joke's on you guys, I guess. Um, but it's time to get serious because we're talking about the zombie apocalypse. This is my serious war paint. You can't see what I'm doing, so I don't know if it's straight, but serious time. So since the last time I talked to you about the zombie apocalypse, when I had no idea what I was doing, totally unprepared, um, and thank goodness that I have survived this long and that a zombie apocalypse has not occurred, because I would have been dead. But now I've done my research and I know what I'm doing, I have a plan. So first things first, you have to have a plan and be prepared. Um, so, I now know that I have to get my zombie apocalypse emergency kit ready with water, clothing, food, and I need to have a set plan as to where I am going to go and who I'm going to take with me. So, tip for you guys, if you like anyone and don't want them to become zombies, let them in on your little plan so they can survive with you. Um, but also, part of being prepared is to know what weapon you will choose when the time comes. And my weapon of choice would have to be a baseball bat, because in my research that's something that has been recommended to me, and I think it's pretty good because it's easy to use, uh, it's blunt, so you could just go and kick some zombie butt, uh, but also it gives you the reach uh, that you do not have to be all up in the zombie business and risk getting infected, um, and you could just still, you know, take some zombies out if necessary. Um, but the second tip that I would offer you guys is to hide. Because the zombie apocalypse is not about fighting zombies, it's about surviving. Because you don't want to become a zombie, so my tip is to hide so that you can eliminate the risk of being infected with whatever disease is causing this zombie outbreak. Uh, because eventually, the zombie apocalypse will end. The disease will die out, the zombies will all die out when they have no more brains to feast on when everyone else is hiding, and I have been assured by the Center for Disease Control that if a zombie apocalypse should occur, they are ready to identify what is causing it and stop it. So, I have a lot of faith in the CDC. Not, not a, not, I mean, not a whole lot, but a little. So, I trust them. Um, and, uh, also in my research, I decided to take a little online quiz, and I found that based on my answers, I would have a, about a 60% survival rate. So, that's, that's pretty good. I think so, considering that before this, my survival rate was probably about, like, zero. So, I will put the link to that quiz in the doobly-doo below, um, so you guys can take it and find out how prepared you are. Um, and if you are not prepared, then I hope you get prepared, because you guys need to have a plan, you need to learn, you need to learn it, you need to live it, you need to love it, be prepared, survive, and don't forget to be awesome, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.